Excitement was boiling over on Sunday as the Kansas City Chiefs walked away big-time winners, six in a row that makes it, against the uh, San Francisco 49ers, uh, dating back, was that five in a row? Wow. Last time we lost was 2014. I know we're 6-0 and right now. We are 6-0 and right now. Uh, <laughs> big time went 20, 28, 12, 28 something. Nobody really cares about the Niners or what they ended up scoring uh, because they're just a bad team. They're just a bad team. We tried to tell you that Brock Purdy is an elite and all of you got mad at us. We tried to tell you that Patrick Mahomes is still on his bullshit. And guess what? He still is because he's out there trucking DBs that look like models. Just you, Kareem Hunt. <laughs> you you haven't seen the Instagram photos of this dude? I, I did, but I, I you didn't have to go like that route. Like yeah, you could have just said he's ripped. Yeah, chiseled. Anything, anything of the sort. You just oh. like this dude's sexy. All right. Well. <laughs> yes. One uh, for the dad bods. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Kareem Hunt. Easily showing that uh, the the move he made in his career to lie and be a backup for a number of years to save his body just so he could come back. This was premeditated. Had to have been. This was 100% premeditated. Lie, get kicked off a team, be a backup for a while until nobody wants you anymore because they think you're bad, and then you go back to the team that drafted you in the first place so that you could be the best running back in the league. He had to find some way to get back on the Chiefs after lying. Like, you know, <laughs> we everybody premeditated. And, Andy, Andy Reid gives everybody a second chance. So, I this this was the plan all along. This was the plan all along. Just leave the Chiefs. And then when we need you the most, like, <laughs> the plan Beach, for the three peat. <laughs> the plan for the three peat. They, this is Beach is so far ahead of everyone else that he was planning the three peat. Five years in advance for when. All right, Kareem, just lie to us here. We'll bring it back in a few years. (laughs) Listen, go play for the Cleveland Browns. Go back to your home. Go back to your home. Play there. Be a hero. And then come back and just do it all for us. Get the three feet. Do you think he sticks around? This brings up the question. uh, What's going to happen with his backfield whenever Pacheco gets back? It was supposed to be a six to eight week injury. It's week five already. He's he's out. He's uh, Pacheco uh, out. I, I don't I don't think he's coming back this season. If he comes back, it'll be during the postseason. But at this point, just stay out. Make sure you're healthy for next year. That's just not who that also, man is. Though. It, it's something I I wouldn't. If it's a six to eight week recovery, I'm not I'm not putting him out there like week eight or nine. You know what I'm saying? Like, let it's a fractured leg bone. Like we need to. Like it's it's a it's a serious fucking injury, and it's nothing that we should rush back. And in a situation that we're in, there's no need to. No so need. Let let him get more than a hundred percent. Let him get to a hundred and ten percent. I don't care if you think that's possible or not. The guys that like to be technical. <laughs> um, but I, and if we have Isaiah Pacheco and Kareem Hunt healthy for the playoffs, uh. There is no doubt that a three-peat happens. So, what are we going to do? Put Pacheco out there as a slot receiver. He's just the next Tyreek Hill. He's already wearing. He's already wearing number ten. Just put him out there. Keep well, keep Kareem just, in the backfield. I would do the same. I would do Dan Campbell's system and just one running back for this series, and then the other running back for the next series. It's not a. It's not a bad gig. Uh, they can't do that anymore. Uh, but I digress. Well, what do you mean? Uh, David Montgomery. He came when back I, in the uh, game and played. Uh, yeah. Uh, semantics. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Instead of Thunder and Lightning, we'd have Thunder and Thunder. We need I that. that. I, I think we need to rethink that, and um, I'll get back to you with some ideas. Um, but <laughs> what, what I thought specifically went right in this game um, something that has been in question um, a little bit this season, um, but just sometimes in the regular season with Andy and Pat and our offensive play calling, but the red zone play calling. We were in the red zone five times. We scored four touchdowns. So I realize 80% isn't the greatest, but I like the production. If we only get stopped once uh, while we're in the red zone in a game, um, it clearly didn't um, matter on the scoreboard. Our defense – 
top tier, held the 49ers to fucking two scores. I don't even know how they scored, when they scored. The game is such a blur. We were just obliterating them left and right. Since Kareem Hunt has been back, I, I believe we're 6-8 <laughs> and eight in the red zone since Kareem Hunt has, has taken over in the backfield. Yeah, so we clearly found out that running the ball, handing the ball off to Kareem Hunt works in the red zone, and we don't have to get too much more fancy than that. Because uh, fancy play calling is what annoys us Chiefs fans. All right? Have fun out there, but don't get don't get too pretty in the red zone because we need to score touchdowns, fellas. You did that on Sunday. Proud of you. Proud of the boys. That's all that matters. Get get it in the end. It doesn't matter how ugly it is. It doesn't matter if your quarterback has to truck somebody. Just get <laughs> the ball in the end zone. Pat needs to start leading with his the with the beer belly. How do we feel? How do we feel about the about the run? There's been a lot of talk about the the sideline run that Pat took off for for what was that 30 yards or so. Obviously, as Chiefs fans, we do love that. But as fans of football in general, how do we feel about the rules that have been placed on hitting quarterbacks close or over the sideline, more so under scrutiny than any other position? Um, obviously, Pat is playing within the rules. And and there was an overplay by by the defender who was in front of him. But realistically, do we think that um, the NFL should continue to to treat that specific type of play uh, the same way that they have been, or or should should anybody who's running the ball uh, be near the sideline just be open for a free hit as long as they're inbounds? Uh, NFL should keep it the way it is. This is literally just Chiefs derangement syndrome. Patrick Mahomes was running towards the sideline, but he was looking towards the field the whole entire time during that run. He was not looking to go out unless he was actually going to be hit. If Josh Allen did this, oh, that's the greatest play of all time. That was what happened with the fake slide that he had last year in the playoffs or whenever they played. Oh, my goodness. Josh Allen's amazing. It's Patrick Mahomes. People are tired of hearing about him and how great he is. That's all it is. <laughs> Yeah, I look, uh, Pat uh, has been a wizard with the pump fake on the run for a long time. You have the playoff run against the Titans. You have multiple examples in the regular season and other games. Um, you you flash back to his first year starting, and he throws the left hander against the um, against the Broncos when Von Miller's chasing him. He throws it. He throws the left hander on the run the other direction and. So, like, again, Sean is correct. People are tired of hearing how great Patrick Mahomes is. But, like, I, I don't the, – the guy that uh, he kind of juked near the first down marker, I, like, I don't – I think he had some other – like, he got pushed or, like, nudged, like, to where his momentum took him. Like, I don't think it was just him running in too hot. Like, I think there were other factors in that play that caused him to be, like, over pursuing running out of bounds essentially like but i i don't know i do you have like a specific example of how the rules are like affecting pat's run in that situation or like i, I mean we've we've seen it with pat specifically in other situations we've also seen it with other quarterbacks like yeah. lamar and it's happened with josh allen as well where I mean, I we could go and probably look up the film on YouTube and and just find it. But there have been multiple instances in where quarterbacks have gotten near the sideline and whoever was in pursuit either stopped their momentum or overpaced, went hot and over the top and didn't really play the fit. And that allowed the quarterback, Patrick Lamar and others, to really pull themselves back uh, inside uh, onto the field namely if we want to get specific 2019 afc championship patrick mahomes on the run uh right before halftime where he gets in uh to the end zone um to either tie it up or take the lead right right at halftime that specific run was kind of the same thing where he's teetering very close to out of bounds decides that uh he's going to cut up field when uh the the pursuer slows up thinking pat's going to go out of bounds look if you you like you can legally form tackle anybody um while they're in bounds like I, I if you if you haven't figured out how to adapt and tackle people correctly within the rules that are that they have today like don't don't let 
unathletic fucking Pat Mahomes make you look stupid. I'm sorry. Like, let's I, not. I feel the same. I'm not like, I, I'm kind of for it and kind of against it. But when we look at it for this specific play, the guy can stand in front of him and fit it up. He can get to the side and hug him. You don't have to tackle him into the ground through the sideline. That's when you're going to get called for the unnecessary roughness on a quarterback. This league is always going to protect every quarterback. And there's many situations when Patrick Mahomes has been hit out of bounds and they haven't thrown a flag. So it's just, we can just be realistic with that situation. There's many times in which that has happened. It's happened with Lamar. It's happened with Dak. It's happened with other quarterbacks as well. Um, If, if you're going to complain about the guy, not wanting to right there. He was over, he was shooting in, he was over hot and he didn't fit up. He didn't give Patrick Mahomes a bear hug. Didn't go out of bounds with him. If you're going to, if you're going to overpace it and, and run over the top, or you're just going to stop and, and you're not going to stop the momentum of the ball carrier, this is going to happen every single time. Of course, they're going to stay in bounds. You think a wide receiver or running back isn't going to do the same thing. They're just not going to get called for it because they're not a protected position. Is is the part of the field green? He was in the green he's part. In, you got to cover it. Simple as that. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. Speaking from a guy that played defense for a, on a football field, <laughs> plenty of times. <laughs> Too many times to count, actually. That's funny. <laughs>